वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन माई नेम इज़ अमित राय एंड टू डेज टूटोरियल विल बी ऑन माई फोन दैट इज जोलो प्ले सिक्स सिक्स वन थाउजेंड एज यू कैन सी इट इज़ रिटर्न ओवर हेयर मॉडल नंबर प्ले सिक्स सिक्स वन थाउजेंड एंड आई हैवेंट अपडेटेड इट गेट सो बेसिकली द बिल्ड नंबर इज टू ओरिजन बैक सो टू डेज टूटोरियल विल बी ऑन about how to root your phone it is a complete tutorial how you can root install custom recovery as well as as you can see i have um large amount of internal storage uh, you can see let me focus the camera and now you can see that 2.2 gbs of memory of internal memory is free and uh, 1.8 gb is being used and you can see that i have installed lots of apps lots of there are many apps there are also apps on the sd card and uh, you can see that my phone is rooted and is working very well so i will be showing you each thing step by step and you need to follow me and the files that i will be showing you i will be providing you the link and you can download those files but those files are specifically for the play 661000 users now what you need to do is first of all you need to download the stock rom that is the original 4.4 os of play 661000 and uh, i have kept it over here zolo 661000 stock and you need to download the sp flash tool version 5 and we need to select the scatter loading file click on okay and select the scatter loading from here and just open where you have extracted the folder and click on firmware and you can see the text file scatter uh, mtk 6592 android scatter and as soon as you click on this you will see a bunch of files loading over here and tick marks beside them so now the next step is to um remove the cable from the phone and uh, remove the back cover and also the battery so all these steps come after you have installed the uh adb drivers so now you need to click on the download you can see it over here download just click on it and now you have to click on power up button it is over here just click and press it and don't remove your hand from that and just insert your data cable as soon as as soon as you insert it you will hear a voice and yes the flashing has been started just leave the button and wait for it and it takes a few seconds to install it so the flashing is going on and till then i must tell you that there are two files that you need to download and place it in the specified folder so the files are ebr1 and ebr2 these files handle the partition how the internal partition will be for the apps as well as internal storage so these are the ebr1 and ebr2 files and their size is just 1 kilobyte and they are these files are specifically designed for our phones only that is mediatek zolo play 661000 1000 only every mediatek device has its own ebr files so i must tell all the users that do not download these file for any other mediatek phone other than zolo play 661000 1000 so as you can see flashing has almost completed and once it is done we have to do few other things yes now the as soon as the flashing is completed 
click on the cross button and remove the data cable that's it insert the battery and power on the phone now the phone is being booted so we have to wait for a few minutes and I have never used king root apk to root my phone so because I know that it is it has so many bloatwares and basically the device slows down and uh, it really created creates a mess so I always root my phone by flashing the super user apk uh, sorry super user zip from the recovery so I have by default installed the original recovery and this is all because I need to flash two files and those I am so sorry I am so sorry ok now I need to flash two files those are the two updates and I have kept them over ok sorry I have kept them over in this folder so I will copy these into my SD card and flash it via the original stock recovery of the phone and once the update is done I will flash the custom recovery and then the super SC zip and the phone will be rooted so before any of these things happen let the phone boot it is still being booted yes the phone has vibrated and now we will see the boot screen so finally we have seen the main screen of the phone just click on the settings and then apps and you can see I have lots of internal storage 3.7 GB free and that basically means I can install as many apps as I want and if the storage is about to full I can just move them into my SD card just like I can move this MC4 sorry it is uh, by default uh, system file but once the device is rooted we can move the games and apps into the SD card as we want and the internal storage will be almost free I'm sorry my hand is just running through the camera and it's making it move copy it and just paste it in the memory card that's it just now remove the data cable and battery and insert it once again and press the volume up as well as power button and you will be booted into the stock recovery we have to wait for yes now as we see the phone is asking to boot into recovery fast boot as well as normal you can click on the just move the cursor on the recovery and press the volume down button and phone will be booted in the stock recovery so if you meet up with this screen you need to click the power button once and the menu will appear scroll down by clicking the volume down button and select SD card 2 and click the power up button sorry volume up button and uh, basically the files needed to be here but they are not showing because so once again I have a problem and uh, 
you just keep in mind that you need to copy the files in such a way that you don't face such kind of problems you can either rename that or basically select the updates from the about menu in the settings app or basically the way I prefer is that move on to the stock recovery and directly select them as updates and both of them will be installed simultaneously so the phone has booted and I will be moving them into the internal storage so that there aren't any folders like that just I will select all of them and delete and uh, sorry I will move the update files from here to the internal storage and that's it and now I will do the few things to boot into the stock recovery and you might see I have meted up with the screen again and I need to press the power button and again select now you need to select the SD card because we have kept the updates in the internal storage and select the update which you need to install and press the power up button and wait for a few seconds do not press any other key while the update is being installed because it might break your phone and you will have to start from the beginning flash the original stock firmware then the EBR1 and EBR2 files and all of those things so basically and one thing I must tell you that the files of EBR1 and, and EBR2 they will work upon in any of the custom rooms so they are, they, these files are room independent and you will be having a large amount of internal storage for installing apps and all and the phone will not lag at all I basically have downloaded the Google Now launcher zip that is ported from Samsung Galaxy S2 and it really works fine in my phone but you can install any other launcher if you want so one of the updates have been installed and I need to select the another update and it will, it will be installed so you can see that I am selecting update that is written updates in brackets so as I click on the power up uh, volume up button the installation of the update gets started and it will take few seconds and remember one thing guys once you have installed the updates from the stock recovery you need to boot your phone so that all the patching should be done to the system and before that do not remove your battery or anything let the system boot first then you can flash a custom recovery and then the super SU zip so it's taking a bit of time because I have 32 gigs of memory card and I have lots of viruses and I will be formatting it <laughs> that's basically because I already copied my memory card onto my system so I will format it anyway let's just wait for a few seconds and then we will begin with the formatting process and all I am basically making this guide because I know you all are having some problems so the update has been installed and just select the reboot system now and click on the volume up button 
and the patching process will start and you will see the upgrading process for basically 33 or 35 apps or 38 apps like that just wait for it to get completed and your phone will be booted successfully again it's taking some time and the video is going to be too long so I suggest you to download the video and keep it with you so 38 apps are there that need to be optimized it only happens on the first boot after formatting So the system has been booted up and now again we need to remove the battery. That's it. We have removed the battery and now comes this part of using your system. Just uncheck the check window from here and it will basically uncheck all of them. And then move on to the name where it is written recovery and select the file from here. Just click on it and it will open a window move to the folder where you have kept the recovery custom recovery so I am searching for it and yes I have kept it over here Philips recovery select it and it will automatically be checked you don't need to click on it just click on download once again and just remember that you need to check only the recovery part because we need to flash the custom recovery and once you have clicked on download press the volume up button and hold it and while that you need to insert the cable so just insert the cable and you will ok now you can leave the volume button and the recovery will be flashed and yes it is flashed so once again you can remove the data cable and place your battery and sorry now you need to press the power button sorry volume button volume up button and power button and it will be asking again for the three different menus just select the recovery and press the power down button, volume down button I am sorry actually I am messing up with the power and volume buttons but it happens sometimes so you can see different type of menus now if you haven't downloaded and placed the super SU zip then you need to click on the mount and storages and then mount USB storage once you have clicked that just connect the USB storage once again and open up a browser and download the super SU zip and after downloading it just place it in any of the internal or external storages so we are downloading it once again started and it will take few minutes I don't know why when the resume capability is showing no option the download speed goes drastically down I have a 10 MBS fiber optics cable in my house and then too the speed is only coming 100 kbps and all so yes now we have downloaded it and we need to copy it just control C move to the memory card or wherever you wanna paste it and then control V that's it guys now remove the cable and click on unmount and once you have done that sorry, sorry. now if you have done that then just move, move a little bit back 
and click on SD card one, install the SD card one, and uh, dra drag it down, and you can see the files update super su v2.6 dot zip. Just select it and click on install update, and you can see the update process is going on. And press any key to continue. Just press the back key twice, and there will be a remote system reboot system now button. Just select it. and the phone will reboot and your phone will be rooted so now you guys have 3 point something gbs of internal storage and you can install apps over there and your phone is rooted also and you don't need to partition your sd card and link your apps with the link to sd app and all so your problems will be solved and it it will really work flawlessly so let's check it out here is the super su app click on it and then no thanks and you can see it is saying that no apps configured that is because because we have formatted our phone just now so none of the apps are asking for the permissions and you can check it once again that you are having lots of internal storage so you can see that we have 3.7 gbs of free internal storage and basically you can restore your apps or download it from the google play store and everything will work fine so thank you very much guys if you need assistance on any of the portion of the video which you didn't understand let me know and i will post the solution and so thank you guys have fun